One of the big problems a lot of golfers have, Bob, is what they had for lunch, right? Chicken wings, is that what it's about? <laughs> chicken wings. We see a lot of chicken wings. Well, tell us a little bit of how you can try to get that a little bit out of your swing. Well, when a person hit, hits the ball, they generally try to scoop under the ball when they hit. When you do that, your elbow wings out like that. When you go back, your shoulders should turn, your wrist should break, and as you swing forward, your forearm should rotate counterclockwise toward a target and your elbow should fold out. When a person tries to get under the ball like this, when they swing forward, their arm will chicken wing out. When you go back, your shoulders turn and your wrist break. At nine o'clock, Chris should see the back of his left hand. When he swings forward to three o'clock, he should see the back of his right hand, and that is square. If Chris holds the club with his hands apart, placing his right hand about an inch below his left, when he goes back, this will encourage him to cock his wrist in the backswing and rotate his forearms in the forward swing. If he's at six o'clock here at the bottom of his arc, when he goes back, his wrists are breaking, seven, eight, nine. And as he swings forward between seven and five, the toe of the club passes the heel. His arms rotate over. When he swings through, it's just like he and I are shaking hands, not like I'm giving him five. 